awesome. All right. We well, congratulations to you, wonderful authors, for, for your contribution and golden wisdom of love, legends, and legacies. What an awesome day. So, Tom, tell us about your, your experience to be part of this amazing book. <laughs> it's such an honor and such a privilege to be a part of it. My, uh, I'm a 90-year-old veteran, and uh, I've had a lot of life experience that I've learned a lot from. Some of it the hard way, but I've learned. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> focusing now on just being present in each day and living what I've learned. And uh, I live in gratitude. I'm so grateful just to be here, just to be alive. It's a miracle just to be here. And uh, I'm just grateful. And I find that as I live in gratitude, I live in enoughness. I'm enough. Mm. And uh, my wants and needs have gone way, way down. <laughs> I just, when people ask me, well, what would you like for a gift? And I can't think of anything monetarily. I really can't. I'm very happy. I'm satisfied. Uh, I have inner peace. And uh, I'm, I'm in a good place. It's taken me a while to get here, but but I'm here. It's a journey. Life is a journey, isn't it? You bet it is. Yeah. Oh, how awesome. So to what made you decide you wanted to contribute to this book? Um, well, Sandy asked me specifically. <laughs> and I agreed. I agreed. She was convincing, and, huh? <laughs> yeah. But then after that, I had some problems. Uh, I broke a uh, bone in my upper arm and a lot of pain from that. And I uh, I remember uh, texting Sandy. I said, Sandy, I just really can't do this. There's too much pain. I have too much to deal with. And Sandy <laughs> couldn't accept my uh, rejection. She <laughs> says, well, I'm just not going to accept that. I'm going to keep the door open because it, it takes a little while for this to uh before we have to turn it in, and things might change. Well, in the meantime, <laughs> I mentioned this to uh, Betsy Brill, and Betsy said, well, you've already written what <laughs> he said. She said, just send me some of your essays, and I'll write it for you. So she did, <laughs> and here we yeah. are. Here we oh, are. How beautiful. Yeah. Well, I would, I want to be like you when I grow up, <laughs> if I ever grow up. <laughs> I, I want, I want his inner peace. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, uh, my inner child is very much alive. So I don't <laughs> know if we ever really grow up. I don't know if we want to really. <laughs> That's probably true. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, wonderful. Well, well, we'll circle back to around to you because we don't want to make Brandon feel like, well, they're not talking to you. <laughs> no, it's quite so, all right. <laughs> uh, Brandon, tell us about you. Yes, I, I don't have the life experience of Tom for sure. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I, I wrote the the chapter I wrote because my granny Sandy uh, reached out to me. I don't know if you can tell that we're related. Uh, <laughs> can you see the similarity here yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, she reached out and asked if I wanted to write a chapter uh, and my wife had written a chapter for her previous uh, book uh, and so I thought yeah that'd be kind of a cool thing to do uh, we, could, we could both participate so uh, I agreed and the, the the hardest part was figuring out what I was going to write um, life was happening uh, like in between the time that uh, I accepted and, and the deadline date, and the deadline came pretty quick. <laughs> it's uh, faster when you when you with life being busy. It's always like yeah. oh, I had a lot yeah. of time. <laughs> yeah, we've got work. We've got a baby on the way. Uh, uh -huh. uh, all, all kinds of stuff happening. Uh, so I saw that deadline approaching, uh, and I was like, Oh, what, what am I going to write about? Uh, what would people be interested in reading um, <laughs> that, that I could share? So I wrote about my experience with the broken bone. <laughs> yeah, and, and what was the name of your chapter? A tree-based wow. ego check. <laughs> it, it, was, it was also about me being 18 and, and fearless and uh, <laughs> having that Invincible. Yeah, invincible, yeah. 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 yeah that invincible is checked. <laughs> awesome. So what did it do for you to be able to sit down and put pen to paper and write your story? 
No, it was cathartic. I, I hadn't really thought about uh, what happened in a while. Uh, so I, I got to resurface uh, all those memories and think through the the people that I met and, and helped me. And uh, I didn't even get to go into the, the recovery aspect because I, as I was writing, I realized like, oh, but my word count's already over. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I had to start editing down. Um, uh, but yeah, I got to, to relive all of that and uh, kind of a traumatic experience, but but also uh, an experience you grow from. So a lot, of, learning, nice. a lot of life learning, huh? Yes. <laughs> so if somebody picks up this, um, this book, Golden Wisdom of Love, Legends and Legacies, and they open to, directly to your chapter, what do you hope that they gain from reading your chapter? Um, if they're a young man, <laughs> I, I, I guess I, uh, they they can gain that you are not invincible. Uh, maybe you should be a, a little more careful because uh, bad things can happen to you. Um, but also, the bad things can happen to you, and, and you can recover uh, and go on to lead lead a long and beautiful yeah. life. Beautiful. And yeah. and what would um, in your life and the way you live your life today? What is it the contribute? What is that contribution that you want to make? And, and when you get to be ninety years old, what do you want to be able to look back and say? <laughs> uh, well, we've got our first baby on the way, um, and, and so I think that's going to be a big part of it. Um, raising a child, uh, instilling values in them to be kind to others, and, and also be a help to the world. Um, I, I think that's a, a nice legacy to leave behind. Absolutely. Yeah. And do you know what the what your baby's going to be, boy or girl? It's going to be a boy. Awesome. Yeah. And got any names picked out yet? Yeah, he's going to be named James. Mm -hmm. um, I'm naming him after my grandfather. Awesome. Oh. Very good. Well, congratulations yeah. to both you and your wife. I remember meeting her last yeah. year. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. So for for Tom, you know this this book has been. Um, this is the second in the series, and um, you've you've lived this rich, amazing life, and you've had your ups and downs like all the rest. And anybody that reads your your story, and and I know Betsy Brill shared a beautiful um, tribute to you as well. What would you like people to to walk away with when when they read your chapter? I would like to remind people that you can lose absolutely everything, and I do mean everything, and find peace in what's left. I found that after I lost it all, and I'm talking about a lot of money, a lot of possessions, my reputation, relationships, everything, stripped down to nothing, uh, I found that what was left was what really mattered, really mattered. I found a depth in that. And I, I asked my, uh, my higher self, what is my purpose now? What can I do? And uh, the answer I got was very clear. Your purpose is to be a loving presence. And I thought, wow, how do I do that in prison? <laughs> I'm facing a long prison, and how do I do that? And uh, I found it. I found it in teaching. I helped the fellows to get their GED, and uh, I wrote many articles. I found that in uh, in facing diversity, uh, we can reach some tremendous depth in our writings. And uh, uh, I think of several that I've written, The Cries of the Heart. I think of the, uh, I was teaching the fellows how to write uh, uh, essays in my classroom and and I asked them what would you like most of all if you could have any wish you wanted and I expected them to say well um I would like to uh, get out of prison <laughs> that's that's normally what you would expect yeah. Yeah. but I didn't get that at all what I got was uh, one fellow said I would just give anything if I could just hear the sound of my little baby daughter if I could talk to my mother again, it's been a long while. And, and it was cries of the heart that really mattered. Mm -hmm. Wow. Anyway, uh, it was great to think that 
it's kind of ironic that I had to go to prison to find out where real freedom is. And I had to lose it all to find out where real wealth is. <laughs> but uh, I did find it. It's an inside job and it's something that we all can tap into, all of us. And we can live each day in gratitude. Beautiful. You know, it, it truly had to come to a choice for you because you could have decided I'm just going to be a miserable, old, despondent person and, and not live life. Or you, or you could decide to be do what you did and become happy. Yeah. Well, I reminded myself that it's always a choice. Mm -hmm. I could choose to focus on what I had lost, sure, and get very depressed. But I didn't focus on that at all. I just focused on what I had left. What was left? What could I do about it? Not, not questioning why, but what can it teach me? What can I learn? What can I gain from this experience? And how can I help others in doing that? Mm -hmm. and, and that's why you're alive today. And that's where I am today. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Sandy, you know these two gentlemen. So do you have any <laughs> questions for them? You've, you know, you've known them. I, I just met both of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling very emotional today. I'm, I'm sitting here listening and, and, and looking at both of their extraordinary faces and, and feeling very blessed that I, I have them both in my life. Um, you know, um, reading both of their stories and now listening to both of them, them speak what that meant to them, they're very much the same. One in a younger body, one in an older body, but they're very much the same. They're both the kind, they're both two of the kindest people that I know. Um, and I'm not saying that because Brandon's my, Brandon's my grandson. I just, I just know how kind he is. Mm -hmm. And, and it just brings joy to my heart. It, and Tom, his story, I mean, I wish we had time for him to share just even more of his story. As he said, he went to prison, he made some, some mistakes. And rather than be a victim, he came out a victor. Um, and I know Brandon has, has overcome some, some obstacles as well in his life. Um, and maybe someday he might write about those now that he's had the door open. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I thought it was quite, quite interesting when he said, I had to like start editing down because everybody that says, oh, I can't write 1200 words. Every, almost everyone without exception has said, oh my gosh, I had to really edit this back. I just kept going and going. So yes. it, it's interesting once we begin that process, how it opens us up mm -hmm. and these words make a difference. People read these chapters and it's going to touch somebody's heart. It's going to touch their life in a way that they might not have recognized. I know for me, Many of many of these stories of like, wow, I, I had that experience and didn't have the language to put how I felt about that. Mm -hmm. um, so I think both of them have just shared from their heart and and people will be inspired by their stories. Beautiful. You know, there's always that 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 old adage that you never know what a person has gone through. So always mm -hmm. be kind, you know, yeah. always just have the empathy and not be quick to judge when you meet right. a person and maybe you, you think, well, I would do this or they should have done that. But really, if you have to live in their, in their shoes and if you, if you took a moment to get to know them, you would find out there's some beautiful gold that's, mm -hmm. that's buried with them. Yeah. So gentlemen, you know, this book is, is a legacy. This mm -hmm. book is sharing a lot of love mm -hmm. and, and wisdom and, um, you know, really, really something that will grace our world even 90 years from now, you know, <laughs> because uh, these kind of written pieces are, are, are what will stick around and somebody's going to pick it up many years from now and say, wow. Wow, that's yeah. true. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love the diversity. Uh, and we can learn from people at any age. Absolutely. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. But I love that diversity. I love the different stories. We each have a story to tell. Mm -hmm. And we can learn from each other, no matter whether we're a youngster or a, an oldster. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think of myself as not as old, but uh, being older. Now, when you say you're old, that's kind of a fixed thing. That's kind of definite. 
But when you say, well, I'm an older person, that's a process. That means <laughs> I'm learning, I'm growing, I'm evolving. <laughs> and we never stop learning. If we do, then that's that's the bad day. So, you know, but every day is a day to learn. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Is, is, Brandon, is Lulu standing over to the side? Uh, we oh, can't hear you. We can't hear you. You're muted. Yeah, she, she was just taking it real quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell her hi, and she's welcome to join us. <laughs> have, her pop her, have her pop in there. <laughs> well, I, I don't think she'd want to. She just woke up. So she, <laughs> she, she doesn't have awesome. all her makeup on and everything. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, well, well this has just been a... For you. This has been a treat. This has been a, a real treat to have you both here. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's a day to celebrate. And if you have um, any opportunity, be sure and share this book out with, you know, on your social media. And I know you, Tom, have, I, I have heard it from many that you have quite a social media presence. You, you, yeah. You're quite active on Facebook. Oh, yeah. You and your, your puppy dog. His, his, pu his puns. <laughs> he's, he's a punster. <laughs> my, my purpose now is to lift people up. I just want to enlighten people and brighten their lives. And, and I do it with some of these silly puns. And some of them are really, really bad. <laughs> and the groans are tremendous. But you know, a punster's greatest compliment is a good groan. A good groan. <laughs> well, I would encourage anybody who's watching this go go find Tom on on Facebook and and join his his join his punster group. <laughs> you you, oh, you won't be, be disappointed. So you won't awesome. be disappointed. Well, thank you, gentlemen, for your contribution, for the what you brought to this book, um, what you bring to the world, and continue to let your light shine. Um, I always say that when we can participate in um, writing a story that can affect, touch people's lives, we become an advocate, we become a truth teller, we, we shine the light of truth on so much, we show people a different way, and we unite people because that's what's that's what this world's all about. Yes, it is. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us today. And we celebrate if you're <laughs> listening. Be sure and pick up a copy of this book. It's in the in the chat. Um, we placed it there. It's also all over the social media. So mm -hmm. just enjoy. And thank you for being with us today. Uh, before thank we go, you. I got a question for Tom. Thank you uh, so much. It's been an honor and a privilege. Wait, Tom. Um, Brandon wants to ask you a question. What's the name of your pun group? On Facebook? Yeah. On Facebook? Yeah. Just, how, how does somebody find you on Facebook for your well, puns? Go to my name, just Tom Brown. <laughs> There's a lot of Tom I'll, Browns, but my I'll name send, is a picture of me. Just Tom. Okay. Yeah. I'll send you his link. I'm going to look it up too. <laughs> Thank you awesome. so much. It's been All such right. an honor, such a privilege. Thank you. As for us Thank too. you. Right. I love you guys. Love you. <laughs> love you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.